In Centralia, Pennsylvania, two and a half hours northwest of Philadelphia, an abandoned stretch of road lays covered in 25 years worth of graffiti. I think it's a way for people to kind of like leave their mark and then there's like people's names and like hashtags and stuff. This is Graffiti Highway, the most famous and one of the last landmarks in the once bustling mining town. Centralia sits on 25 million tons of coal. In 1962, one of the mining beds just southeast of the town caught fire. That underground fire is still burning today. Eventually, all the real estate was claimed by eminent domain and condemned. The last seven residents who refused to leave are allowed to live out their lives in the town. Harold Mervine is one of those residents. This was my grandparents' home initially, so I'm, I'm third generation in this house. This whole thing was quite a fiasco. It, it tore families and friends apart because some people wanted to stay and some people wanted to leave. And, uh, it just created a lot of bitterness and broke up families and friends. Heat from the fire also broke up a strip of old State Route 61, opening cracks and weakening its structural integrity. And despite no trespassing warnings, thousands of people travel the graffiti highway each year to view and to contribute to the colorful layers of paint. I think it's a good way for people to like express themselves without, I guess, truly vandalizing something like more public. But is the graffiti art or vandalism? Residents and tourists disagree. I have no problem with people coming and walking around, but well, I got the graffiti highways getting filled up, and now, now they come into town and they think they can do the same thing on the streets and, and just about anything that holds still. It's vandalism. Now, you can't do that in your own town or, or around your area. There's no reason why you should be able to do it here. The Diempolis family traveled to Centralia from Connecticut. We came for a road trip and this was one of the spots that we wanted to stop at. I think it's art, I like it, it's not bad. I mean, there's a lot of stuff and people have been coming here forever and it's a cool place to stop. I think like without this road now, I think people would forget that there's a fire actually burning underneath the road. <laughs> for those who still live in Centralia, Graffiti Road is an eyesore not worth the attention it receives. I don't know how you can call it art. If you go down there and look at that highway, it's just paint on top of paint on top of paint. If there was anything any artistic or beautiful about it, it's been covered up. I, mean, I, I don't get it why people drive hundreds of miles to come to see paint on a road. That <laughs> boggles my mind. Under Centralia, the mine fire continues to burn and could for another 250 years. And as long as people flock to the asphalt tourist attraction, the controversy around Graffiti Highway will remain heated. For PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Ian Morley in Centralia, Pennsylvania.